Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my another tutorial. I always was fascinated by computer vision, especially its power to manipulate images in a rapid matrix manipulation. A picture or image is simply a, an array of binary uh, numbers in Python, so we can do a various matrix manipulation to get the fascinating results of it. So, in the previous tutorial, uh, I show you how we can separate us, for example, foreground from a background, how we can easily detect faces, and to do all of this in real-time camera stream as a webcam. So, in this tutorial, I decided that I will show you how we can e easily apply CV2 functions to get this kind of exciting uh, sketch effect of any image, any video, or any stream, real-time stream we want. So there is a four pretty simple steps that we need to do to achieve that. So first, we need to grayscale the image, invert the colors of it, blur the inverted image, and apply the dodge blend to the blurred uh, image, and we will see the following Porsche, as you can see right now. But, of course, I'll show you all of this step by step, and if you don't have time to watch it, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, share about it, visit my GitHub link or text version tutorial, and I uploaded all the code you need there and step by step explanations if you don't have any time. So, first, I already have prepared more code, but I'll go in and I'll go step by step with every line to show you what results we get at each step. So, first, Usually, we sim uh, simply import all the objects. So here, I created a pencil sketch object that we import and initialize. So let's, let, let, we'll go in. So next, I have my engine uh, object that I used already in my previous two tutorials where I show you how to separate background from foreground and real-time phase detection. And it's very simple when we use this engine because we can easily remove, add, or change the functionalities we want and to use all of this for this object. Okay, so let's go to this pencil sketch object. And what we do here, we initialize the blur sigma, kernel size, shape and value, and the kernel. And here is all the explanation what each of this does. But mostly we are interested in this blur sigma when we applying all of this to any image. So first, when we initialize the object, we first come to this place. So first, here comes our frame that is readed in our engine object. Either it might be image, it can be video frame or real-time camera stream frame. It doesn't matter. It's up to, up to us. So here I'll show you what is the frame. Return frame. Okay, and I go to my main and I hit this kind of button and it should work pretty quickly and as you can see this is my original image of my Porsche and right now we need to apply the grayscale okay let's go back and here we have a few lines that creates the grayscale image and we can return it and the idea here is that I'm grayscaling image simply with NumPy library but also if there is other libraries as CV2, you can very simply achieve the same results with CV2. And especially why we are multiplying our array by these values, well, simply this is RGB values that should be multiplied by these kind of numbers and then aggregated, summed, and we'll receive one layer image uh, and that's it. And here at this line, instead of having one channel, we convert this grayscale image to have three channels and it and it still will be the grayscale but we'll, we'll see that it's way easier for us to do further manipulation with images when we have the same shape as it was in the input especially while uh, my engine objects only accepts the same shape input as the output okay so let's see what i receive here 
let's run it and you should see that it's pretty beautiful the same car that it has on the grayscale effect around and nothing else and nothing special about that so uh, i think all of us have tried to apply this kind of grayscale effect uh, the next step we need to apply the invert the colors of our grayscale so it's also not that hard we simply need to uh, subtract our image from 255 because we know that our pixels has 256 values and the maximum is 255 so the simplest way to invert this well uh, we need to subtract value from maximum value possible and we receive this inverted image so let's see what we'll get with this kind of effect as you can see it's pretty interesting look already it's not sketch effect but even it's pretty nice image if you would like to upload it to your profile somewhere instagram facebook or i don't know just play around with that and it's, it already has pretty nice uh, looking what, what we can achieve with simply grayscaling and inverting the image but, but let's let's move on let's continue Next step, what we need to do is to blur our image. And we achieve this with a Gaussian blur. That's the simplest way to achieve that. Of course, there is many ways how we can achieve the blur effect, but it's up to us. And right now we can see that there is a blur sigma that we can specify in our initialization object. And if I go here, there is a blur sigma and right now it's 5 and let's see what I'll get with this kind of 5. It's pretty blurry, it's it's damn getting hard to understand what it is and that's pretty nice. Let's try to change the sigma to 2 for example. It, it should be less blurry but still kind of blurry and that's totally fine for us. And right now we have this blurry image. I'll recover the five here. And that's that's our goal in this place. Okay, now that's kind of most important part of this uh, of this process is dodge image dodge. So here I'll return a final image, self-dodge. And what is the dodge? Well, you can read about this in Wikipedia online, there's a lot of information about, but that's a specific blending mode that split the bottom layer from the inverted top layer. This brightens the lower layer depending on the values of the upper layer. Well, it's kind of hard to understand, but it's pretty easy when you apply this. It simply, uh, it simply highlights the boldest edges of an image. So let's see what we do here in a dodge. We go inside the dodge and here comes the front and back as I mentioned. And what we do here is simply we maximize uh, back image colors that are not white to be black and we subtract from 255 from 255 front image and that's kind of apply some kind of maximization of the colors and that's it it simply separate the white and black and sharpen it that's kind of nothing nothing special not to have rocket science okay let's run this and we should be in kind of pretty nice place and you can see amazing we got our Porsche that looks pretty awesome with a real nice pencil sketch effect and let's try to minimize this blur sigma and we'll see what we are see okay it's uh we can see that it's less sharpened uh not that dark as before but still it it, it looks pretty amazing right and and here, right now we can play only with the sigma parameter and this was pretty sad for me that we can't achieve pretty interesting photos with that so i decided that okay i know that with openc we can do a lot of stuff 
So I decided that why, why not sharpening the colors of it with a kind of very simple effect as we did with the blur, but instead of blurring right now, we'll sharpen it. So here is my sharper function that I apply to this final image. And if I go to my sharpen, as you can see, we invert the image, then we apply the CV2 filter 2D and we apply the kernel and that's it. We return back the image that is already re-inverted. That's pretty simple and amazing. And here is the sharpen values and the kernel that we can use. So for example, I'll pick this sharpen value and go here to this and I'll use a sharpen value of 10, for example. It doesn't matter what number you pick. Let's go. Okay, you can see that's pretty. I haven't changed that much. So let's go with a 30. Well, it's not changing either. Let's, let's change a few of these values. I think I forgot to save this. Might be, might be. Because it returns a sharpened image. Okay, let's give it a go again with a 30. That's right, I was forgot to save my pencil sketch script. And as you can see, that's already too much. It's too much. Not that beautiful with 30 sharpened integer value. So let's go lower with a 10, for example. Let's see. Well, that's better, but well, it's up to us. It's it's a trial and error uh, to find the best values, how how much we would like to sharpen it. But for example, let's go with a 5 and blue sigma as 10. Well, and now it looks kind of nice, nice. I can increase it to 7 maybe. And we should receive pretty amazing sketch Porsche. Well, yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about, you can see. And that's pretty amazing what effect it can achieve. So right now, I'm applying this to the Porsche image. So let's try something else. I have this my image engine object. So what if I would like to apply this to my real-time stream? So let's, let's do this. If I uh, camera ID, I think it's scanner ID. I'll take sure. Webcam ID. It's not camera ID, webcam ID, but it's totally fine. I'll set it to zero. I'll show it, set it to true. And yep, applied pencil sketch and let's go. Let's see what we can see with that. Okay, it's it's loading my web camera, I believe. Oh nice. As you can see. That's kind of interesting sketch effect. As you can see, here I have my bed, there is my stuff around, and it's pretty dark right now in the room because it's early morning, but you can still see that, well, I have pretty nice effect of this sketching stuff. So if you would like to see how I, I do more, just follow me. So I think that's that's it with this tutorial. I, I show you in detail explanation how to do all this stuff on my text -based tutorial but for now i don't it's the end of this tutorial it's pretty simple exciting and you now you can imagine that there's plenty of stuff that we can do with python and opencv without any any machine learning stuff or that is pretty hard to learn or, or understand so I here only used OpenCV, matrix manipulation, and etc. So that's it. So thank you all for watching for now. If you like this video, smash the like button, so subscribe to my channel, share this video. If you have any questions, like it. If you have any suggestions, just create an issue on my GitHub channel. And for now, that's it. And I'm creating this series that just for fun. And I'm thinking that in the next tutorial, I'll try something new. Because, for example, right now we have a face detection, but what's the purpose of having the face detection if nowadays everyone uses uh, face recognition for various stuff? So I'll create a tutorial 
how to merge my face detection with a face recognition application to use this with my engine object that I'm using right now. And this will come next week, I believe. So thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.